This is my new toy. Just got it today. It's going to be one of these things where this is a very rare experience because it's 2021. And when I ordered this, there was only five in stock. Now, some of you people are going to be saying, oh, it's one of the new ones and it's not very good. I don't care. It's got a guarantee on it. And that was the reason I bought it, because I have over there, and I'll show you in a minute, some decent old school decks. But this one is my first brand new deck that I have bought in, so satisfying, since 1985. So you can work out the numbers. Whoa, look at that, I thought. It's, it's pristine, which is, should be, of course, because it's brand new. But let's have a look. It's got a bag of bits. And this is where we all have the same problem. How do you get the same thing out of the box? Like that. Here we go. Oh, it has an adapter. It has a UK plug adapter. Because this is a 1200B. Yeah, it's getting shot of a bed now. Yeah, so bring it back into shot. You can, of course, move. Um, and, right, I'm going to pull the edges off now. I've got to say, awesome. No, I shouldn't have said it. And what have we got here? That's the back. You could cut it out. And the front, and somewhere there is the opening to the bag. So, if I squeeze, what there is to see. It is a very nice finish. It was not cheap by today's standards, although it was cheap if you compare it to 1980s. Oh, look at that. That is a nice. Don't know anybody says that is nice. Go over the controls in a minute. Just to show you what this back's got on it. And as you can see, it looks rather good. Now it does say 230 volts, 50 hertz, 22 watts, which means I can plug it in without having a problem. Right, now, this is, looking at the back, nice and simple. There is line in and out, as you can see, there and there. And we've got a USB out. There's all the C type plate, which says that it's 240 volt, and that it's approved for everything. There's nothing else on there. So we'll go around to the front now. And looking at the front, this is awesome. I'll probably cut that bit out. This is good. We have the power switch. We have pitch control, which is plus or minus 12%, I believe. The eject button, level control for the microphone input, level control for the headphones output, another eject control, timer, so you can use it to come on and off in either record, play, or just normal mode. And we've got noise reduction, which is playback only because Dolby is no longer licensed for use in this sort of equipment so it doesn't exist anymore as far as they're concerned anyway that's another story uh, so we have here electronic counter record button pause record mute and unusually for a twin deck these both record so we've got record pause and record mute fast forward rewind stop play Fast forward, rewind, stop, and play deck one. I think, looking at it, I'm rather pleased with that. And it has got a proper name on it. So, good. What I should do is I shall now show you this rather neat little device, which is an English plug adapter. It takes UK plug and get into the thing. Ah, use the special plug extracting device. Now there's a pairing knife. Other knives are available. 
other purposes are available. Anyway, this rather neatly just somehow plugs into there. And right, can you see that there? So we plug that in, we put that in there, and we push that down. And then, having done that, close it up and we do the screwdriver. Do the screw up there. Yeah, the screwdriver, which I have got somewhere else. So we'll, I'll just do that in a second. Whilst we're looking, have a look at what's in here. I haven't seen a brand new anything like this for years and years because I got involved in the streamings and things and life. So let's have a quick look at this. And we have a set of batteries. We have two RCA, as we know them in the UK, or used to know them in the UK, phono leads. Nothing to do with, with vinyl. So that's and that's the other one. So you've got your inputs and your outputs on there. And then we've got the remote control. I have no idea what the remote control does other than the fact it's a remote control. So let's have a look. It's got on it some rather nice neat buttons. Take one controls, take two controls, and common controls across the top, which are in red. So uh, if you can read it, fine. If not, I'll work out what it says later and put it on the put it on the subtitles. Thank you. Right, and then we're down to the instruction book. Now, unlike some people on YouTube, I actually bother reading instruction books sometimes, but only when I don't know what I'm doing. Now that one seems to be in something other than English. It's in Dutch. Italiano, Netherlands, and Svenska. So, I'll tell you what, though, that is rather a nice. <laughs> it's of no use to me because I can't speak either, any of those languages. But it's rather nice and thick. And this one must be the English one. This is English, French, and Espanol. I can I can read French, but I can definitely read English. On the odd occasion. And let's have a look, see, see how detailed it is. Yep, it's telling you things like use your pencil, which of course we all know is not meant to be a pencil, it should be a big pen. And there's the controls layout. So, overall, yep, yeah, they're covering what you need to know and how to do it. If anybody's really interested, they can always send me a message and I'll send them a copy of the book pages if there's any interest. If not, then fine. And then we get to troubleshooting sections and the specifications. Now, I know I'm going to get people saying, oh, why did you spend your money on an expensive machine that's got a specification that's only half as good as anything that we had before? I'll tell you for why. I read on somebody's Facebook feed the other day, they'd got a cassette deck, it was their pride and joy, 300 tapes that they, they were really proud of, and again, the cassette deck had broken, and they were fed up with the fact that every time they got themselves sorted out, it broke, and what should they do? So I thought, that's a good reason for me to buy a new one with a guarantee. If the old ones lasted for 40 years, maybe the new ones can last for 10, and I'm not expecting to read much more than that anyway, so... If I get more than 10 years, I'll be in the, in the care home and I won't care anymore. That's why they call them care homes, you know. Because when you get there, you just don't care. Thank you. Just thought I'd mention, having looked through the manual, I remembered that I've forgotten something. Now, what this thing does is, quite happily, it, it's got a microphone input. In the old school. It's got a microphone input and it's got, as you can see here, and it's got various functions. You can do mixing with it. And it says on the next page, it mentions the fact that it's got karaoke. You can see the words there? Karaoke, using tape. So the idea is that you can use it to do karaoke and produce various results. I don't know how good it is, I'll have a play with that. But I just thought I'd mention it. It's part of the specification of the machine. 
this is where it talks about the parallel recording which of course the buttons are all on the remote control as I pointed out before and it even talks about putting the output to the computer which is fine and um, we'll see how good that is or isn't it doesn't come with a USB lead but I'm sure I can find one somewhere it looks very similar to the normal printer lead that they used to do in the old days and uh, anyway that's the, that's the interesting bits of the book I shall have a read and if there's anything else I'll let you know I'm not being paid by them by the way or by the people I bought it from or anybody I'm just doing it for fun okay now I've wired it up well I wired it up to playback and we're just going to switch it on Oh, that was nice okay so we've got the proper fluoro displays there and just for the sake of this video i'm going to play a little bit of that which is not as it looks this is one that's actually been recorded over i've no idea what it actually sounds like because i recorded over it a while ago so switch eject soft touch controls except they're not for the eject because it's i believe it's got a tension mechanism but I don't actually know I can't see the spring if anybody knows um, can't actually see the spring but if anybody knows the techno video you'll know what spring I'm on about and I can't see it on this one All right, the counter says zero turn my amplifier on I'm on the aux input I might as well, seeing as people seem to like people playing it from their speakers, might as well turn the system on fully and we'll see what happens. All right, go for the rewind. Right. And then go for play. Well, I don't think it rewound. Let's try again. Am I at the beginning of the tape? Let's have a look. I thought I was a bit. But you never know with these things. No, I'm not. So let's get the big pen. I actually have a big pen type. I actually have a big pipe type pen which I can use. It fits beautifully on there. I'll do that. Just to make sure the tape is loose, which it is. And put it in there. And try again. There we go. I'm guessing that because the tape's been in store for about a year since I recorded it, possibly it was just a little bit stuck. It is an original cassette dated, or oh, I don't know. What I don't understand is as I've got older, the printed text has got smaller. But I'll find out later on when that is, and I'll tell you if I, if when I do, when when if I do. But anyway, it's an original set. Just rewinding it. We'll see where we go from there. Oh, auto stop, which is what I'd expect, of course. But it's always nice when these things work.
just to make sure that's working. And stop. Play. Right, I'll throw the other deck out now because I want to. I'm assuming it's going to work because it's brand new. But you never know. Shut that. Sounds as good as the other one. Everyone's a winner, and so far it is. Anyway, I'll do a review on this when I've had a play with it. Now you know what I think of it. Right, I'll just reset the counter, which is already on zero, but that's because I took the tape out. Interesting point when you take a tape out, it resets the counter to zero. Right, now I'm going to try out the remote control, which is quite com comprehensive. Because the two decks record, both record, you can record both at the same time or one to the other with the buttons on the remote and you've also got the transport buttons so what I'm going to do now press the play button and see what happens on deck one which works rewind fast forward stop so rather useful because you can put two tapes in, you can start the thing rolling and you don't need auto reverse, which of course it hasn't got. It has got IC logic transport control, both decks. And I think based on what I've seen so far, and this isn't this is only an unboxing, it's not actually a review. Based on what I've seen so far, I'm quite pleased with it. But you know, we'll see how we get. Give it a go later. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Dang on, dang on, dang on. I'll tell you when to cut. You know, you can't get the stuff. Thank you very much for watching. If you think this is of any use, then tell your friends. And if you don't think it's of any use, well, what the hell, tell them anyway. They might want to watch it and see what they think, how bad it is. But at the end of the day, it might be of use to somebody. Looks pretty good to me, this deck. Uh, so like, subscribe, follow me or not. Up to you. Catch you later. Bye-bye.